We are back. Okay. We have... My next guest is a truly remarkable man. You run out of things to say about Bob Hope. Everybody mm -hmm. knows him throughout the entire world. He's had a remarkable career. And he's got a... He's had a string of television specials with some remarkably long titles. This one I have to read, because I couldn't remember it. The Sunday night at 8 o'clock, right here on NBC, for two hours, two-hour special. You can see, and here's the title. Bob Hope, stand up and cheer for the National Football League's 60th year and all-star salute to America's number one spectator sport. <laughs> <laughs> and on the 1st of December, he's going to be appearing in Philadelphia at Villanova University. Would you welcome the one and only, yeah. Bob Hope. stuff is coming back then. Remember that? <laughs> you always dress up. I had this made for me in Pittsburgh. Really? Yeah. Where were you at the time? Well, I'll tell you. Huh? <laughs> you, you always dress rather sporty. I don't see you. No, I wear more a guy clothes. sent me this from Thunder Bay, Andy Coffee, and it's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Is that huh? gorgeous? Isn't that a pretty yeah. thing? Is that I don't usually go this. It's like a little I look corduroy. like I'm just going on the way to uh, Santa Anita or something. But I, it's, it's a, you know, it wakes you up a little bit. Yeah. You know, and I need it. You're looking good. How you been? Is that, I, I feel pretty is good. Is that the official title of your show? Yeah. Stand up and cheer for the All-Star Football League and All-Star Salute to America's number one spectator port. Is it, I didn't know professional football had been around. I guess it has. 60th anniversary. 60 years. Isn't that wild, boy? Yeah. Made a lot of players and orthopedic surgeons wealthy. Yeah. <laughs> you invested in the Cleveland Indians. Are you still? You never got still, the professional football. I still have football, a piece of the Indians. And yeah. I had pieced the Rams from 48 to 62. At that time, they were one of my better tax deductions. <laughs> well, that was the golden years in the early 50s, yeah, the Rams. They just, no, they did. They really started. They played pretty. They had Waterfield and yeah. Van Brocklin and Crazy Legs Hirsch. Tom you know, Fears, great, great all those guys. Players. Yeah. But you gave that up, huh? You must have known that. I this know, I didn't, I didn't give it up. Uh, I was with uh, Paulie and Fred Levy and Seeley, and they sold to Dan Reeves ah, while right. I was in Okinawa. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I'm not kidding. You didn't know anything. I didn't know. Well, I had an idea. That I don't think I'd, it had made any difference, you know, because I was money hungry in those days. Yeah. <laughs> and I made a little cash on that. Did you, ever, did you ever play football at any time? I did. Life? I played in Cleveland. I played the East, oh, East High. I was a tackle. I was very limber. I could go around my own end. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's vaudeville, isn't it? That's, yeah. You really did. I didn't know that. You played football. <laughs> I did. I yeah. high school. Yeah. Where are you going to be this Thanksgiving? I was a lonesome man. Yeah. Nobody else in the team would talk to me. <laughs> Where are you going to be this Thanksgiving? Played, huh? Where are you going to be this Thanksgiving? This Thanksgiving, yeah. I'm going to be in Palm Springs. I'm leaving tomorrow for Palm Springs and playing the Harvey Corman thing. That's right. And he's going Canyon, down and then I'm going to try to get to Ford and try to get some government money back. Yeah. <laughs> Do you live close to the... Uh, Expert, the President Ford down there? Or are I live fairly? close. I can roll down the hill to four courses. <laughs> I mean it. I, yeah. I live close to the original course, O'Donnell, or Canyon. I live close to Canyon. Right. It takes me you know, seven lakes to down the bottom of the hill, and then I get to Thunderbird in about 15 yeah. minutes. You know, I can remember in the early years in Los Angeles, it must have been in about 1949 or 50, driving to Palm Springs, and they had one golf O'Donnell, course. I think O'Donnell. it was Indian. The nine-hole course. Indian Wells or something? No, O'Donnell. That right against the, the mountain. The original golf course. And now I think Palm Springs has more golf courses than any They have city. 52 golf courses. Oh, come on now. Yeah, they're truly. And the way Ford plays, he doesn't know which <laughs> course... <laughs> Wait, that's just a straight line. Good, good, luck, good luck on this one. He doesn't know which course he's going to play until after his first tee shot. <laughs> Wherever. 52 courses. In other words, 52. after the tee shot, he goes wherever yeah, that goes is. Wherever right. the ball goes, he follows it. I couldn't. I don't believe they got 52 golf courses. I cannot believe That's it. true. It's true. They put them in. If you haven't got a golf course, you're nobody down there. That is incredible. Really? It's just amazing. Oh. Who you got on your show this week? This week, besides us, I know you got some of the football. Who we got players. on the show? Yeah, you got Elizabeth it. Taylor. I'm gonna talk to you about Elizabeth Taylor. Elizabeth on the show. Taylor, yeah. you know, she wanted. She came on. I, hell, I hate to see a woman beg like that. <laughs> 
No, she's divine. Yeah. We're so thrilled. I was supposed to be on my show last year at West Point, but she became ill. That's right, I remember. And uh, where was she so thrilled? She plays the commissioner of football on the on the show. And Namath walks in and says, My, how you've changed, Mr. Rosette. <laughs> <laughs> he gets quite a laugh. So my... <laughs> she, uh, I started to say something and it, and it, and it left me, which made we me just We have Olivia well. Newton John. Yeah? Who looks so good on. I'd like to go with her hyphen. She is, yeah, she is pretty, isn't she? She's pretty. She's pretty, pretty she, lady. She does, she does physical with all the football stars, Rosie oh. Greer and Dick Butkus and Bob Lilly and a lot of cats. And they do, they do a number called The Lion's Been Lament. Yeah. And it sounds pretty good considering they're, you know, they're singing through scar tissue. I think it's a marvelous. <laughs> yeah, that's not a... How did you get... Now, you, I read something in the paper today that you had said you'd never worked with Elizabeth Taylor before, and she reminded you that she was on your radio show some 30 years ago. Is that a true story? Who did? Elizabeth Taylor. It's in the paper. Yeah, and that's It was in the true. paper today. That's you, true. You said, say, my, my never National worked Velvet together. Time. Yeah. That's true. We were both child stars. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give up before you will. <laughs> <laughs> He stared at me longer than Jack Benny. <laughs> didn't what? he stare him out? Wasn't oh, he beautiful? Oh, Freddie's doing a thing. That's, we got a... an outstanding clip. We do. Right. I didn't know that. What? What'd you do? Somebody yeah. said we have an actual film clip. They didn't Pete. bring film clips First over time. here. First time. My you kidding? Goodness. Isn't that amazing? Rolling. Rolling. Honey, I've never been able to do that. How do you do that? You know, my daughter's the only one who can do it in my family. It's, it's a thing. It's a Dutch thing. I know. They used to do that in the old... That's a station house. The sketches. The station house the sketch shop. All the Dutch comics used to do it. How do you... What's the trick? I've never been able to do it. How, it, it has to happen for you now. It's a glon... It's a glon, 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 glon. How many people can do it in the audience? Let me hear it. Let me hear that. <laughs> 500 guys doing station house. A lot of tigers up there. Up there. Yeah. <laughs> The tape people are going crazy. <laughs> All right. Why don't we Why don't we show it? This is a little. Is this a outtakes or are these uh, things that have happened or is this? Yeah, I think a lot of stuff they got, but they got. I think they got a lot of people on there. We okay. Have, Watch the Susan monster. Anton and Barbara Mandrell and. Uh, I know that you're very athletic, Bob. But uh, have you ever played football? Are you kidding? I was a triple threat man. Oh. Yes, I was a coach. Uh, <laughs> I was a triple threat man. I really was. <laughs> The coach never knew that I was going to fumble, run the wrong way, or tackle a pom-pom girl. <laughs> well, I became a referee because I wanted to keep things orderly. Mm -hmm. See, without me, the game would be total confusion, chaos, and complete com calamity. Come on, come on. <laughs> And what's your problem, Phantom Foot, aside from your name? Well, none of the players can trust this cunt Ray Casanova with their girlfriends. He's stolen mine three times. Oh, what could he possibly have? That's that a big, that's fine. handsome man. Money. Money. Yeah. I mean, for it's true. <laughs> Why did you want to become a football player? Uh, a cool football. <laughs> he always wanted big shoulders. <laughs> Please, someone shake that tree for me. <laughs> yeah, sure, we'd be glad to. Shake the tree. <laughs> Sad, isn't it? They both think there's an apple tree there. It's pitiful. Anyone can see those are oranges. That's just Rosie Gear and Bob Lilly. I'll tell you. If you didn't recognize it, it was Dick Butkus, Roosevelt Greer, and Bob Lilly. Yeah, yeah. And, and, they got, uh, and if they don't sing well, who's going to tell them? Oh, yeah, I mean, that's right. It's true. It's true. We got the Stauback, the quarterback. Roger Stauback, yeah. There, and every time he was supposed to speak a line, we had to send a messenger in with it. <laughs> We got a lot of people on there. You know how they love football. I used this audience of yours last night for my monologue. That's what I hear. And you know, when I said I'm going to do the 60th anniversary of football, that audience applauded like hell. Crazy. I didn't know it was that that I popular with them. Probably. I think the, it was that. Either that and basketball are the most been the way I was dressed. Yeah. Did you wear this coat last night during the monologue? Or... Yeah. <laughs> did you go back? You were from England originally. Did you go back for the uh, the wedding? The... Prince Charles and Lady No, Di. no, I, I just received a... the invitation yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I thought being a native, uh, native Britisher, you would uh, 
You would have attended that. Yeah, that was pretty. It was pretty. I, I loved the way everybody over here, you know, wore that hairdo, that Diana hairdo. Yeah. Even some of the girls. I, th I thought it was just... What are you doing back in Villanova now on December the 1st? You said you were appearing... Uh... I'm going back there. They're getting a big fundraising thing going because they want to start their football program again right. at the Academy of Music. So I'm going back there and do a little show like we did up there at the Budweiser. Huh? San Francisco? Yes. yes. I was up there with him the other way, yeah. that Budweiser thing. Imagine this guy, the spokesman for Budweiser for 80 years, huh? <laughs> that's, a match, that's a match made in heaven. Oh, yes. <laughs> was he either... was christened with a jug of Ripple, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it was either that or become a Clydesdale. And he, uh, I have to follow. Uh, I have to follow this guy. What's his name? Our publicity guy, the funny guy, Mike. Mike Rorty. Mike Tommy Rorty Lasorda. and Tom Lasorda. That's all I have to follow. You know. Yeah. They, they, but he they, did. And they say, and yeah. here he is, the funny man. And then you come out and fight for your life. You know. <laughs> no, they were a great group. Yeah. And Tom Lasorda was wonderful, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah. God, when you think, the Italians, they... In fact, Sinatra follows us, and, and he's going to sing right. Thanks for the Memory Sunday night. Imagine 44 years it took him to steal that. And he's doing your theme song? Yeah, yeah, I got to steal some. You know, That's right, he's I'll got do, your special on it. I may take and do my way. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> You yeah. sing in your My wife sing. You sing well. about that for years, huh? Yeah, you sing well. I introduced that thing. You're... I know. <laughs> you don't worry. Step on anything. <laughs> well, I, I never really know where you're going anymore. I, I look in those beady little eyes of yours trying to figure out where you're headed before I jump in. <laughs> Uh, what? Send him home. Send him home. Send him home. You're going to Palm Springs tonight? With I'm going to Palm with Springs. I sure am. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. Great, Great to see you. You can drive down with Great. Freddie. He's fine. Going. Freddie's going to play. I hope I'm playing in right, back right. of my hate to think. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Robert. He never ceases to amaze me. No. <laughs> He's on the go all the time. We'll be back with uh, Susan Sarandon in just a moment.